Though every… every person who gets little romantic believes that this is going to be an absolute relationship, there is no such thing about it. A relationship is a variable, always. Does your relationship feel more like a punishment than a partnership? We've all been there. Join us as Sadhguru shares his hilarious and insightful take on how to make love last. But he must be punished. Either by you or somebody, he must be punished <laughs> Oh, what kind of punishment do you normally give to people? <laughs> Already enough fun punishment has been given, isn't it? Already it's been given. The ugliness, the nastiness, the silent treatment, everything has happened. So what more punishment you want to give? Your thing is there is no remorse on the other side. There is no remorse on the other side because people are doing what they want to do, not what you want them to do, always. And that may not be in your interest, but they're doing what they want to do. Is it right, wrong? I'm not going into the morality of it. I want you to understand the mechanics of the situation. Somebody is doing what they want to do. Now you think they must be punished. Do you ever feel like you're walking on eggshells in your relationship? Like uh, no matter what you do, it's never quite enough. Sadhguru, a mystic and spiritual leader, offers a fresh perspective that can help you find more peace and connection. The mistake of punishment? We often approach relationships with the idea of fairness. If our partner does something that hurts us, we might want to punish them to make things even. But Sadhguru says this approach doesn't work. Relationships unlike math equations, are not about absolutes. People are complex and their actions are influenced by many things. Punishing them doesn't address the root cause and can actually damage the connection. Letting go of control. Sometimes the feeling that our best isn't enough comes from trying to control the outcome of the relationship. We want our partner to behave in a certain way to fulfill our expectations. But this creates pressure and resentment. Sadhguru suggests focusing on what we can control ourselves. We can work on our own communication, our ability to handle emotions and our overall well-being. Choosing your path, Sadhguru, even suggests that relationships aren't for everyone. Some people may prefer to focus their energy on other pursuits. The key is to, uh, to be honest with yourself about what you want and need. If you do choose a relationship, remember it requires constant attention and understanding. Looking deeper, instead of getting stuck in a cycle of blame and punishment, Sadhguru suggests using challenges as an opportunity for self-discovery. When problems arise, it's a chance to look within and see how you can react differently. This inward journey can lead to greater awareness and ultimately a more fulfilling relationship with yourself and your partner. Remember, relationships are a dance, not a competition. Focus on your own well-being. Challenges can be opportunities for growth. Choose what works best for you a relationship or a different path. By taking Sadhguru's advice to heart, you can move away from blame and punishment and build a relationship based on understanding and mutual respect. Probably they have not broken any law. 
otherwise they would be anyway punished. <laughs> They're breaking an understanding between two people. Probably you misunderstood the understanding. You believed that these understandings are absolute. They are not. Nowhere in the history of humanity or today or in any time in future will human relationships be absolute. Though every… every person who gets little romantic believes that this is going to be an absolute relationship, there is no such thing about it. A relationship is a variable, always. You have to conduct it on a daily basis. One day if you don't conduct it properly, it may go somewhere. Yes or no? No, please look at it as it is. You have to conduct it right. So, no, I am doing my best. Obviously somebody feels your best is not good enough for them. No, I want you to come to terms with this, this is not about… I am not saying what they're doing is right or wrong, that's not for me to say. All I am saying is, this is how human beings have functioning for ages and still are. I am saying, first of all, you need to understand, relationships will never ever be absolute. There will be variables that you… it's juggling that you have to do. If you are juggling with fireballs, one sometimes it'll spill out, takes lot of skill and attention. Yes or no? You married, many of you. Doesn't it take lot of skill and attention? Yes. If you don't pay any attention, you don't know what the hell is happening. <laughs> it takes a lot of attention, isn't it? Someone just called me from some country in Europe and, Sadhguru, I'm just doing housework, come and save me. <laughs> take me away <laughs> to your ashram, I'm just doing housework. She's washing dishes and stuff. Well, very affluent, but has four children. So all the time there is something to do endlessly. <laughs> and today the maid didn't, did not turn up, so you have to wash the dishes. Four children are there. You got to wash the dishes, you got to wash everything. <laughs> so I'm saying, you need to understand this. A relationship is a variable reality, it is not an absolute reality. If you want to have an absolute relationship, you must hold relationships with the dead. That's the reason why a lot of people choose God, because it's an absolute. You can handle it whichever way you want. If you didn't think of him for ten days, and on the eleventh day, if you think of him, he's still there. <laughs> you do that to your husband or wife or somebody, then <laughs> something else will happen. You went away, got busy, forgot about God for three years. Again you can think, still there. Rain lashed against the window pane, mirroring the storm brewing inside Sarah. Another fight with Mark, the same accusations, the same hurt. Why can't you ever just be happy with what I do? She cried, throwing her hands up. Mark sighed, a familiar weight settling on his chest. It's not about that, Sarah. I just… He trailed off, the frustration evident in his voice. They both knew the routine. This constant dance of disappointment and resentment, leaving them both feeling like failures. Sarah slumped on the couch, tears stinging her eyes. Was this all love was? A battlefield of unmet expectations? Exhausted, Sarah reached for a self-help book on the coffee table. Flipping through the pages, her eyes landed on a quote by Sadhguru. Relationships are not about making someone perfect. It's about creating an atmosphere where everyone can be who they really are. The words resonated with her. Maybe they had been focusing on the wrong thing. 
maybe it wasn't about changing each other but accepting each other flaws and all the next morning a hesitant calm hung in the air sarah found mark staring out the window a deep frown etching his face instead of accusations she placed a hand on his shoulder hey she said softly can we talk mark turned a flicker of surprise in his eyes they ended up talking for hours not about blame but about their fears and insecurities sarah confessed her anxieties about not being good enough and mark admitted his struggles with communication the conversation wasn't a magic solution but it was a start they began to approach arguments differently focusing on understanding each other's perspectives they learned to communicate their needs openly and honestly and most importantly they learned to forgive themselves and each other for imperfections the rain continued to fall outside but the storm within them had subsided the relationship wasn't perfect but it felt different it felt like a partnership a safe space where they could grow together accepting each other's flaws and celebrating each other's strengths all it took was a shift in perspective and the courage to look within so if you want to have an absolute relationship you must uh, you should not choose human beings <laughs> human relationships are variables needs lot of attention so that's why some people decide in their life they don't have the time and the energy to manage such things so they take another path where there is no such obligation they close their eyes they are by themselves they don't care who is around them what's around them so you can't do that i think it's best in trying to punish somebody you will only end up punishing yourself they doing what they want to do it's best that you see what is it that you really want with your life you don't have to react to them and do something stupid like them you just have to sit down and look at this when your illusions are broken you disillusion right now it's a very good thing if your illusion illusions are broken that means life is bringing you closer to reality isn't it so this is an opportunity for you to sit down and see what is the nature of my life why is it see this piece of life is a complete piece of life isn't it so is it half a life are you a half a life or a full life full life why is it that it feels so incomplete that it needs another person to fill this life why is it it's time to look at it isn't it if this is a full life this is complete by itself but right now you have made it in such a way that this cannot exist with that one and that one without that one and that one and that one so somewhere it's an incomplete life or at least it is not realized the fullness of its nature isn't it this is a complete piece of life packed with creator and creation together very great combination if you this is a time when life knocks at your door like this it's time you look deeper rather than reacting and trying to fix somebody else punishing somebody else is not going to transform your life not going to make your life beautiful in any way some sick satisfaction you'll have for two days after that you will feel guilty about that also yes initially when this emotion is hot it gives you satisfaction after some time and you look back you'll feel ashamed of yourself so don't go that way this is an opportunity somebody is opening up a spiritual dimension for you really somebody is making you realize how fragile all these things are they can cheat you they can run away they can divorce you or they can fall dead isn't it if they fall dead you wouldn't think that he cheated me would you think no but whichever way you denied isn't it the important thing is you denied something 
How he did it is not the problem. He denied you something either by death or divorce or cheating or whatever you call it. But essentially you got denied. You can be denied only because you are in a certain illusory state of believing that this is half a life and it needs another half from somewhere. No, this is a complete life. If you blossom as a complete life, you will see relationships will be of a completely different nature. It will be more of coming together and sharing, not of extracting. It has to transform. If it has to transform, you have to transform. This is a great opportunity somebody has given you. Stop using this word, somebody cheated me. Just say somebody is pushing you towards ultimate reality from an illusory state. We must thank that person. <laughs> must be grateful. Instead of keeping you… instead of keeping you in an illusion, instead of keeping you in your life for a whole lifetime, so soon they're making you realize this. Otherwise you will know this at the time of your death. Yes. You'll know at the time of your death, when you're dying, I'm scared, why don't you come with me? You'll say, no <laughs> So that last moment instead of knowing, it's better to know now. <laughs> so, is your relationship a battlefield or a garden? The choice as Sadhguru reminds us, lies with you. Are you willing to step away from the blame game and cultivate a space of understanding and growth? Remember, a healthy relationship isn't about finding the perfect person. It's about creating the perfect environment for two imperfect people to blossom together. Take a deep breath, look within and start building that garden today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep your sanity healthy and get inspired.